Why, thank you for inviting me to visit you. It's so nice of you to spend some time with me, and I'm very grateful. Children call me Mother Goose because when I want to wander, I ride through the air on a very fine gander. A gander is what people call a gentleman goose. A lady goose is simply called a goose. Birds and animals are fun to think about and visit with, but I especially like to visit with people. And my very favorite people in the whole wide world are children. Grown-ups are nice, but most of the time they're too busy with grown-up things and don't have time to explore with their imaginations. And even more than grown-ups, children have especially wonderful imaginations. Would you like to use your imagination to explore some nursery rhymes with me? Do you know what rhymes are? They're words that are different but sound the same at the end. Words like big and pig or like door and floor. Another fun part of nursery rhymes is that when you say the words one after the other, they kind of bounce up and down in pattern, kind of like skipping a special way, or like music. Another fun thing about nursery rhymes is that sometimes they like to be said one way, and sometimes they like to be said a different way. Sometimes your friend wears a red color, and sometimes your friend wears a blue or a green color, and it's nice that sometimes your friend likes to be one way and then a different way. What we call a ladybug, people in England call a ladybird. One fine nursery rhyme sometimes says ladybird and sometimes says ladybug. Here's one way to say it. Ladybird, ladybird, fly away home. Your house is afire, your children all gone. All but one, and her name is Anne, and she crept under the pudding pan. And here's another way to say it. Lady bug, lady bug, fly away home. Your house is on fire, your children have gone. All except one who lies under a stone. Fly home fast, lady bug, before it is gone. Well, well, there's Jack Spratt. Do you know about him? Jack Spratt would eat no fat. His wife would eat no lean. And so between the two of them, they licked the platter clean. And over there is Betty. Little Betty Blue lost her holiday shoe. What will poor Betty do? Why, find her another to match the other. And then she will walk in two. Well, just down the way here... There was an old woman lived under the hill, and if she's not gone, she lives there still. Baked apples she sold, and cranberry pies, and she's the old woman that never told lies. She wasn't an unusual woman, but another one behaved very strangely. There was an old woman tossed up in a blanket, seventeen times as high as the moon, but where she was going no person could tell, for under her arm she carried a broom. Old woman, old woman, old woman, said I, where to, where to, oh, where to so high? To sweep the cobwebs from the sky, and I'll be with you by and by. She didn't have any children, but there was an old woman who lived in a shoe, she had so many children, she didn't know what to do. She gave them some soup without any bread, then whipped them all soundly and put them to bed. Some of her children needed to sit in time out more than others. There was a little girl who had a little curl right in the middle of her forehead. When she was good, she was very, very good. But when she was bad, she was horrid. I wonder if that little girl's name was Marjorie. See, saw Marjorie Daw sold her bed and lay upon straw. She was the naughtiest girl around 
to sell her bed and lie on the ground. Have you heard about Jack Horner? Little Jack Horner sat in a corner eating a Christmas pie. He stuck in his thumb and pulled out a plum and said, What a good boy am I! And I wonder if you know Tom Tucker. Little Tom Tucker sings for his supper. What shall he eat? White bread and butter. How will he cut it without any knife? How will he marry without any wife? That little girl way over there, can you hear what she's saying? It sounds like... Here am I, little jumping Joan, when nobody's with me, I'm always alone. Maybe she'll come over to play with Tom. Tom, Tom, the piper's son, he learnt to play when he was young. He, with his pipe, made such a noise that he pleased all the girls and boys. Tom's behavior was more polite than George's behavior. Georgie Porgy Pudding and Pie kissed the girls and made them cry. When the boys came out to play, Georgie Porgy ran away. At school, the teacher would not allow such naughty behavior. School is for learning fun things like counting numbers and saying your letters and learning the days of the week. One for the money, two for the show, three to get ready, and four to go. A, B, C, birds in the tree. D, E, F, none are left. G, H, I, they flew high. J, K, L, into the bell. M, N, O, over the snow. P, Q, R, they flew far. S, T, U, that's what they do. V, W, X, what comes next? Y and Z, back to the tree. Sneeze on Monday, sneeze for danger. Sneeze on Tuesday, kiss a stranger. Sneeze on Wednesday, sneeze for a letter. Sneeze on Thursday, something better. Sneeze on Friday, sneeze for sorrow. Sneeze on Saturday, joy tomorrow. One, two, three, four, five. Once I caught a fish alive. Why did you let it go? Because it bit my finger so. Six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Shall we go to fish again? Not today, some other time, for I have broke my fishing line. A, B, and C. Worms are blind and can't see. D, E, and F. The cats ran, none are left. G, H, and I. Birds fly high in the sky. J, K, and L. A pig's stinky feet smell. M, N, and O. Polar bears sleep in snow. P, Q, and R. Whales can swim far. S, T, and U. Bluebirds are blue. V, W, and X. What comes next? Y and Z. Say your letters like me. Solomon Grundy, born on a Monday, named on a Tuesday, married on a Wednesday, got sick on Thursday, worse on Friday, died on Saturday, buried on Sunday. This is the end of Solomon Grundy. One little, two little, three little Indians, four little, five little, six little Indians, seven little, eight little, nine little Indians, ten little Indian boys. Ten little, nine little, eight little Indians, seven little, six little, five little Indians, four little, three little, two little Indians, one little Indian girl. Sometimes at school, the children will hold hands and dance in a circle and pretend to wash their clothes, and walk to school slowly and sadly, and then to go back home, skip very happily. Here we go round the mulberry bush, the mulberry bush, the mulberry bush. Here we go round the mulberry bush on a cold and frosty morning. This is the way we wash our clothes, wash our clothes, wash our clothes. This is the way we wash our clothes on a cold and frosty morning. 
This is the way we go to school, go to school, go to school. This is the way we go to school on a cold and frosty morning. This is the way we come out of school, come out of school, come out of school. This is the way we come out of school on a cold and frosty morning. After school, some people, like Little Bo Peep, have animals they're supposed to take care of, but Little Bo Peep has lost her sheep and can't tell where to find them. Leave them alone and they'll come home, wagging their tails behind them. Little Bo Peep fell fast asleep and dreamed she heard them bleating, but when she awoke she found it a joke. They were lost in some hayfield eating. Then she took her little crook Determined for to find them. She found them indeed, but it made her heart bleed, for they'd left their tails behind them. It happened one day, as Bo Peep did stray into a meadow close by. There she did spy their tails side by side, hung on a tree to dry. Most sheep have white wool, but I especially like sheep with black wool. I wonder if Bo Peep had any. Baba, black sheep, have you any wool? Yes, sir, yes, sir, three bags full. One for my master, one for my dame, one for the little boy who lives down the lane. On farms, some people keep sheep and some keep pigs. Do you know this rhyme? This little piggy went to market. This little piggy stayed home. This little piggy had roast beef. This little piggy had none. This little piggy said, Wee, wee, wee! I want some! Another word for pig is swine. And one girl was supposed to help feed them, but she was too lazy. Elsie Marley has grown so fine she won't get up to serve the swine, but lies in bed till eight or nine, and surely she does take her time. Some people on farms have hens who lay eggs. Higgledy piggledy, my black hen, she lays eggs for gentlemen. Gentlemen come every day to see what my black hen doth lay. Sometimes nine, sometimes ten. Higgledy piggledy, my black hen. Higgledy piggledy are just pretend words that are fun to say. Have you noticed that some words are hard to say altogether? But if you practice, you can say them quickly. She sells seashells by the seashore. Down by the seashore, she sells seashells. If she sells seashells by the seashore, how many shells does the seashell seller sell? Meow. Goodness, did I hear a cat? Mew, mew, mew. Whose cat are you? Little Tom Tinker's cat. Mew, mew, mew. Some cats will scratch if you tease them, but most are nice if you're gentle. I love little kitty. Her coat is so warm, and if I don't hurt her, she'll do me no harm. So I'll not pull her tail, nor drive her away, but Kitty and I very gently will play. She shall sit by my side, and I'll give her some food, and Kitty will love me, because I am good. If cats eat too much and nap too much, sometimes they won't chase the mice away, and there will be too many mice. Three blind mice, three blind mice, see how they run, see how they run. They all ran after the farmer's wife, she cut off their tails with a carving knife. Did you ever see such a sight in your life as three blind mice? It's not nice to have mice running in the house, but a goose in the house would be an even bigger bother. Goosey, goosey gander, where do you wander? Upstairs and downstairs and in my lady's chamber. There I met an old man who wouldn't say his prayers. 
I took him by the left leg and threw him down the stairs. I believe that the man who was tossed downstairs was not the same as that other very confusing man. Yesterday upon the stair I met a man who wasn't there. He wasn't there again today. I wish, I wish he'd go away. When people go away, sometimes they travel to London. That's one of the biggest cities in the world. When it rains there, sometimes children say, Rain, rain, go to Spain, never come back again. Rain, rain, go away, come again another day. Little Johnny wants to play. In London is a castle where many kings and queens used to live. Kitty cat, kitty cat, where have you been? I've been to London to visit the queen. Kitty cat, kitty cat, what did you do there? I frightened a little mouse under her chair. I wonder if that queen was married to old King Cole. Old King Cole was a merry old soul, and a merry old soul was he. He called for his pipe, and he called for his bowl, and he called for his fiddlers three. The king was nice, but he couldn't help Humpty. Humpty Dumpty sat on a wall. Humpty Dumpty had a great fall. All the king's horses and all the king's men couldn't put Humpty Dumpty together again. One nice place in London is called Banbury Cross. Ride a black horse to Banbury Cross to see a fine lady upon a white horse. Rings on her fingers and bells on her toes, and she shall have music wherever she goes. Ride a black horse to Banbury Cross to see what Tommy can buy. A penny white loaf, a penny white cake, and a two penny apple pie. London has lots of markets and fairs where you can buy things to eat. Oh, do you know the Muffin Man, the Muffin Man, the Muffin Man? Do you know the Muffin Man who lives in Drury Lane? Yes, I know the Muffin Man, the Muffin Man, the Muffin Man. Yes, I know the Muffin Man who lives in Drury Lane. Simple Simon met a pieman going to the fair, said Simple Simon to the pieman. Let me taste your ware, said the pieman to Simple Simon. Let me see your penny, said Simple Simon to the pieman. Indeed, I have not any. After a day at the fair, people would get tired in the evening and ready for bed. Go to bed late, stay very small. Go to bed early, grow very tall. At bedtime in the evening when it's dark, it's fun to imagine silly things. Hey, diddle, diddle, the cat and the fiddle, the cow jumped over the moon. The little dog laughed to see such sport, and the dish ran away with the spoon. The man in the moon looked out of the moon, looked out of the moon and said, Now that I'm getting up, it's time for all the children to go to bed. Twinkle, twinkle, little star, how I wonder what you are, up above the world so high, like a diamond in the sky. Twinkle, twinkle, little star, how I wonder what you are. When the stars shine, it's time for lullabies. Bye, baby bunting, father's gone a-hunting to get a little rabbit skin to wrap the baby bunting in. Rock-a-bye, baby, in the treetop, when the wind blows, the cradle will rock. When the bow breaks, the cradle will fall, and down will come, baby, cradle and all. I'm so very happy that we've had our visit. Please invite me to come again sometime.
Goodbye. This has been a Georgia Regions University audio text. All rights reserved. Copyright 2009. Thanks Thanks for listening. listening.